In this video, I'm going to do a tween service for a non-playing character to move the non-playing character, but I want them to face the direction they're moving, and I also want them to turn when they get to a waypoint, and they're going to turn in the direction that they're going to move, and then they're going to start moving. So that's pretty cool. I'm on the Home tab right here. Let's go to Plugins and get a, a Build a Rig. So it says Build Rig. I'm going to pick R15, the Man Rig. You can pick any of those, and they should work just fine. All right, so we have our dummy here. Let's put some waypoints out. Go back to home. And then I'll hit a part. And this part's going to be the waypoint. So we'll say WP1. And I'm going to change the Y, uh, the y setting on the position. I'm going to make it five studs high. And that's a good, that's a good waypoint height for our non-playing character. And we want to anchor it and turn can collide off so that it will stay where it's it'll stay right here and it won't interfere with the player movement let's go to size i'm going to change the size to one by one by one waypoints should be invisible but we want to see them because we want to see the we want to see the track we're just programming i'm going to move the waypoint right inside the dummy so that he's on the track to start out all right and now i'll do a control d collisions are off so it's going to Duplicate in place. I'll move this out. This is going to be waypoint two. Control D. Move this out. And we make a little triangle here. And since we're going on time from one position to the other, I'm going to make these relatively the same distance because we don't want to have to calculate speed. That'll add complexity to the video. So they're all called way, waypoint one. Let's change the other two to waypoint two and waypoint three. All righty. Now, in my dummy, I'm going to just go to the dummy here. I'm going to hit the plus sign. I'm going to add a script. And the script I'm going to call move it. Whoops, there we go, move it. And let's get a reference to our dummy, our NPC. And script.parent will do it. And let's also get references to our waypoint. So we have waypoint one. It's in the workspace somewhere, so we'll just call it from there. WP2, workspace WP2, and local WP3 equals workspace WP3. All right, I'm also going to define the tween service here because I'm going to have two functions and I don't want to have to redefine it. So I'll say TS for tween service, game, whoops, game get service, tween service. I'm gonna do my tween info here too. So if you remember from other videos, tween info has a lot of different options, but you only really need the time and then everything else will default. So that's the time for the tween info, it's two seconds. Alrighty, and what else do we need? Let's do a function, a local function, move model, all right, and we're gonna not model, let's do an NPC. Model is too general. This is only going to work for an NPC, for non-playing character. Pass in an NPC. We want the start waypoint and the destination waypoint. The reason we want that is because we want to face the direction we're moving. All right, so here, um, I'm going to make a difference vector. So vectors only have, they're, they're uh, a group of three numbers, right? The X, Y, and Z. They sound scary, but they're not too bad. We're going to get the destination waypoints position and subtract the start waypoints position. All right, so that's going to be the difference in the world in three-dimensional space from the start to the end. And we're going to add that to our C-frame, and I'll show you. So now I want to get a reference from my humanoid root part. I use HRP for humanoid root part. So NPC humanoid root part. And I'll say local tween equals TS create, pass in our humanoid root part, our tween info, and then we are going to tween on the C frame, which is a property of the, um, of the humanoid root part. So C frame, and we want it to equal, this is going to be what we want it to equal at the end of the tween, C frame new, and when you make a new C-frame, the first value, start WP, 
is the position. And I know you're saying, hey, we're moving. Why are we using the start position? I'm going to show you. That's not really obvious. So we're going to use the start position. Then we're going to face the destination position, right? But that's no good. I'll just turn. It won't move, right? What we need to do is we need to add the difference vector. So we need to add the difference in location, and then it'll move to that spot. Go tween play and wait two seconds. Then let's go ahead and make a rotate now. So this will move. This will move to our um, new position. But the, the downside is it will slowly turn to the new position as it's moving. We don't want that. We want it to turn first and then move in a straight line because that's how, that's how things walk, right? They don't slowly turn as they're moving someplace. So let's go ahead and copy this. It's going to be very similar. Notice this weight, too, is the same as the tween info's time because we want to get to the end of the play before we exit the function. Just wanted to point that out. Let's go ahead and copy this, paste it. This is going to be the rotate. So we're going to rotate our NPC. Right? It's going to be exactly the same. We won't need the difference vector because we're not going to move during the rotation. And we can take that away from here too. So now we're not actually going to move with the tween. We're just going to rotate the model. All right, and let's do a little wait before we start moving things so we can see it all start to happen when we, when we start our game. Do a while loop because we'll just keep this going. While true do. First thing I want to do is rotate to my, rotate my NPC to my next point. I'm already starting on one, remember. So we'll say NPC WP1. And that's where we started. And we're going to look at WP2. Then we're going to move the NPC WP1 to WP2. All right? We're going to do that for the other waypoints too. So just copy these. Control C. And this is going to be for the next waypoint and the next waypoint. So here, now we're already at WP2. We're going to look at WP3. And then we're going to move from WP2 to WP3. And here we're at WP3, and we're going to go back to WP1. We're actually just turning toward WP1. This is where we're doing our movement. There we go. And now we have a nice little tween service script. Let's go in here and take a look at it where we're controlling our look direction. There he goes. And he turns. And he goes to the next one. Now if you add an animation to that that matches the movement speed, you're going to have a pretty good non-playing character. But there are other ways and more lifelike ways to do that. And I'll show you in other videos.